So let's begin. So I will select here in the report creation section attribution. And the first thing that pops up here is you already have a few uh, questions per uh, object. So you have contacts, you have deals, and you also have the revenue. Welcome to the Elixir channel, your resource for all things HubSpot. And then uh, it's up to you whether you want to select one of these proposed questions or start from scratch. In this case, I will keep it simple. I will select one of these questions and explain you what it means. So in this case, I want to know which asset types in my HubSpot CRM drove the most revenue for my business. If I select this and go next, I can see here that I have a graph with three bars, well, one you don't really see, but technically there's three bars and you can see that they each have a title, landing page, external page and marketing email. 50,000 euros of my revenue is contributed to a landing page. 3,693 is uh, from an external page and 13 euros from a marketing email. Now this is only for 60 days, the last 60 days. What if I do, let's say this year so far, then I get a bit more information. So I see a contact that has been imported, generated 100,000 euros of revenue. The rest didn't change uh, except for external page and marketing email. They got a bit more. And if I hover over them, and if I click on it, you can also see which contact it is, which is very interactive. So to explain a bit more on these sections of the report, on the left-hand side, you have the chart type. So how should it be displayed? Should it be a bar, column, donut, pie, and so on? You have the attribution model. To give you a little bit of explanation, this is basically the model that you apply on the contribution. In this case, we have the default one, which is linear, but if you want to give a bit more credit towards the first interaction compared to the last interaction, then you can opt for a J-shaped um, model. Otherwise, if you use the inverse J-shaped, sorry, and if you use the J-shaped model, then it gives you more credit towards the last interaction. So basically when the deal was closed, one. Then further than that, you can also apply some filters, including uh, the date, the asset types. So you can decide, I only want marketing assets or I also want to include sales assets. If I select marketing, you see that it gets filtered to only the marketing assets. If I untick this, then the sales assets also come here. And further than that, you can also do business units. So you can do this per business unit, this report. Um, you can also select some campaigns, a deal type, interaction sources, and so on. So this is it about the attribution report, and hopefully you have learned a bit more about this.